Do you find yourself questioning everything in the midst of rejection? Oftentimes when we're rejected, it taps into a really deep place of hurt and shame. We're sent these messages that we aren't enough, that we'll never find someone and things will never change. But guess what? You have the ability to take back your power and conquer your biggest fears of rejection. I believe that you can get to such a place where rejection may prick you, but not tear you down entirely. Because ultimately, rejection is protection and God's redirection to something even greater. So how are you going to to do it. First, I want you to name the lie. What is your biggest lie of rejection? Then I want you to confess it. I want you to say it out loud so it loses its power. Thirdly, I want you to reject the lie. I want you to say, I reject this lie and I send it to the foot of the cross. And fourthly, I want you to replace the lie. What is the truth that you want to believe instead? What does God say about you? You can do this.